Hey you guys, welcome back to Kirshner Farmstead. Today we're gonna to be doing a really quick video on how we store our potatoes. Okay, so we have had a really hard time storing potatoes for the past couple of years. Um, we unfortunately don't grow them very well ourselves, so we have to buy them from a store. Um, we have a really high water table here, so we can't have a root cellar. And um, so that forced us to figure out another way that works for storing potatoes. And this worked great. We actually did it over the winter. Now we're gonna try it over the summer and see how it goes. But it is a bin, a black bin from Walmart and, sha and pine shavings. And they lasted six months. No, we did not have one rotten potato. After six months, I did 50 pounds. This time I'm gonna do 20 um, because we actually couldn't source a 50 pound bag right now. Um, Colton, do you wanna come over here and help me? So what you're going to do is you're going to get pine shavings from the feed store and you are going to put the potatoes into the pine shavings, not touching. So you don't want them to be touching or they can rot. The, the gases that the potatoes put off actually helps rot each other. So you don't want them right up on each other when you're storing them, um, especially in the heat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to layer, we're gonna do pine shavings on the bottom and then potatoes and then some shavings and then potatoes, you know, until we're done. We obviously don't have that many this time, so it's not gonna be a completely full bucket, but um, yeah, let's get going. So if you get any potatoes like this that are um, bruised or cut or anything, you don't want those for long-term storage, so pull them out to use right away. Here's another example of one that is not good for long-term storage. See how it has cuts all over it? So this is actually in our freeze dryer room. See, it's about to get loaded with the last of the potatoes that we had in there. They were, um, they were starting to get soft after six months, but they don't, they weren't rotting. So what I did is I took them and I made them into mashed potatoes and I'm gonna freeze dry them for bringing in the camper with us on camping trips. You guys, I tell you, anything can end up in the freeze dryer room. <laughs> Canning supplies, baby chicks, potatoes, all of it. Okay, you guys, so that is just a super simple way to store potatoes long term um, for us. We are in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains in California, and it gets hot in the summer here. Um, so we have a hard time storing them inside of our house, but in the freeze dry room over the winter, it did great. So I'm hoping that over the summer it does too, but we will see. And hopefully at some point we can actually get our own good potato harvest, but we'll see about that. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that you guys are putting something away for food storage right now and food security. All right, have a good day.